Here I am in my new gym space, super excited about the new place that I'm at, Core Kinetics. And working with a client this morning, I was going through the Shinbox series and she asked if I would be able to do a video and show that to her. So I've decided to put it on my YouTube channel so that all of you can benefit from it. So the Shinbox series is a series to really open up the hips and to create some thoracic rotation in a safe manner for your lower back. So starting with the shin box series, we're gonna start with our feet close-ish to our bottom. We're gonna have an upright spine, our hands supporting us in the back. Starting with just a little bit of rocking motion back and forth, opening up the hips. Slowly just getting some synovial fluid in the hip sockets, supporting my weight with my shoulders. I'm not hunched, I'm upright. Rocking back and forth. Once your hips are nice and warm, you'll then do having your feet a little bit further away, hands supporting your back. You're going to drop one knee at a time, keeping the other knee completely stable. So we're just introducing movement in one hip from internal to external rotation. Doing both sides. Do both sides about five to ten times, just getting in some mobility. And I'm going to drop all the way into my shin box. As I drop to my shin box, my toe is in line with my knee, my leg is in line, my foot is flat. So from here, I'm just going to go from folding all the way, dropping the knee to the foot, keeping my feet in the same place, just dropping my knee to my foot, keeping it nice and loose, only going as far as your body will let you. Maybe it just looks like this. Then I'm gonna do the add up where I'm gonna do a shin box sit. So as I drop into my shin box, your hip may or may not rise off of the floor. And what I wanna work on is bringing that hip down, trying to get my sits bone to touch the floor. Then I will switch sides, sit upright, working on bringing that hip down to the floor, switch sides, work on just bringing that hip down. Do not force it. You're just going to gradually bring that hip down. Shin box switch. Press the hip in, shin box switch, press the hip in. You may have the hip mobility to be able to do the shin box switch and both sits bones staying down on the ground. You're certainly welcome to do that where you keep your hands stabilized, only going as low as both sits bones can stay connected to the floor as you drop. Now I'm going to add a bow. So I come up into my shin box and I'm going to bow my body over my knee, reaching with my belly and then my head, pushing back up, shin box switch, going to go in the opposite direction, bow, come back up, shin box switch, and bow. It's also called shin box fold. I like the option of being able to do a spinal roll where I will tilt my hips, start with my belly, roll down, tuck my chin, start pulling back and pushing away and come back up as a way to do a shin box fold with a spinal roll and shin box switch, adding a spinal roll. Then moving on to the shin box twist. So as I'm in my shin box, instead of folding over my knee, I'm going to rotate my body, elbow blocking my knee, other elbow into my hip, and I will fold this way. Shin box switch, elbow in line with the knee or hand in line with the hip, the other hand in line, and fold. Exhaling on compression, shin box switch, and fold. Final part of the series is we're going to do the arm thread, hand in line with the hip, taking the other hand, palm facing down on the mat. I'm going to reach as far as I can in between. From that point, I'm going to fold down, leaning towards my knee, resting my arm. Come back up, shin box switch, hand in line with the hip, palm down. This palm facing down, I'm gonna reach as far as I can. From that place, I'm gonna collapse down. Using this hand to press into the floor, 
to push me into a little bit further into rotation. And switch. This is a great warm up series. Opening up the hips, opening up the shoulders and the thoracic spine. And that is the beginning series of what I call the Shinbox series. So try it out, see how you like it, and feel free to leave a comment in the comments page, any questions that you have, and enjoy.